Hey guys, this past weekend I was operating at the beach and I discovered something. In the afternoons, 15 meters is amazing. It's a band I've kind of neglected. I, 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 I work 15 when it's there. I kind of skip through it and check it out or whatever. But um, right now I think it's a band I want to kind of do a little bit of a deeper dive on. So today I'm going to build something I've never built. A vertical in-fed half wave for a 15 meter band. Stick around. Hey guys, this should be fun. I really want to build something just for the 15 meter band. Now this antenna might work on 12 or 10, I don't know, but I'm really going after uh, the 15 meter band and a nice vertical, half a wavelength. I'm here in the harbor. This is uh, Norfolk, Virginia is across from me. I'm in actually Portsmouth, Virginia. It's where I live. And uh, what I'm gonna do, I've got a 64 to one un -un. Uh This one is the uh, BH7 uh jyr on -un, if you're looking for it go to amazon it's where i got it i'm not promoting this no links i'm not trying to sell it um what i'm going to do is put up uh 20 i got it written here 21.95 feet that's basically 21 feet 11 and 3 8 inches or for the, the rest of the world that uses good math uh 6.69 meters that's going to be a half of a wavelength for 15 so just this and a piece of wire and uh, that's it i'm gonna the cool thing is with this being 6.69 meters it'll work on a seven meter pole so i can use my uh, shorter uh, dx commander seven meter pole i'm gonna get it up on that and um right here next to the water and uh we'll see how this thing works okay here we go here's the antenna uh, what i've got there is that's a uh, surf uh fishing it's a spike you put that in the ground it's basically a tube uh, to hold a surf rod for fishing uh, i got it into the ground here next to this is the seawall here that we have uh, in portsmouth looking over there to norfolk um, and then into that is the uh, dx commander seven meter pole with the 16 gauge i'm using 16 gauge speaker wire that's uh taped to it probably taped about every meter going up there uh so that's the antenna itself um over 50 foot of coax over to my g90 now what i did is i'm using the uh choke at the radio side of the g90 and uh, also powering it with a six amp hour battery so i'll kind of lay back up here against the fence work a little dx hopefully or make some contacts here on 15. i get this question a lot so i kind of want to go over it everyone says yeah you just show the antenna and um you, you say you're building the antenna you show it and uh, then you start making contacts and show us what contacts you make. How do you build it? Okay, here, it's pretty easy. I cut that wire to a half a wavelength of the 15 meter band. I tape it about every meter. I uh, connect it to the un, -un and that's a 64 to one un, un Connect the coax to it, hook it up, and try to start making Context. That's the whole idea of uh, my videos. Um, I think I've shown one where I show how to strip wires and all that. I kind of take for uh, granted that people kind of know how to do that. But anyway, there it is. A vertical half wave antenna for 15 meters. It's about 3 p.m. here in the afternoon. So this should be a good time for a 15 meter band. Conditions... Um, are showing right now that this is the band to be on uh, this morning we had a little bit of a disturbance but right now things looking good for 15 meters so let's hope that uh let's hope it works well let's get on here and see i checked swr swr on this thing was about 1.3 1 1.4 to 1 so good enough i could trim it work on it or whatever i'm happy i want to make some contacts let's go QSL Vlad, the name is Walt, Whiskey Alpha, Lima, Tango. You're 5'9 as well into Virginia. Roger, Walt. Do yourself, thank you. Perfectly good day. 73. Thank you, 73. Good luck. UTX, the Radio Whiskey One America. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. Thank you. 5 6 QSL, QSL, you're 5 9. 5 9. I'm portable in Virginia. Thank you, Virginia. Good luck. You're good. Leave it to the 
Five, 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 QSL, QSL, you're five seven, five seven. I'm portable. Twenty watts in Virginia. Thank you. Seventy three. Bye bye. So I've worked everybody. I, I've heard on uh, fifteen. I don't hear anybody else. I've gone through and. Uh, what I found, if I heard of, I worked them. I'm gonna, uh, I, I checked 10 and 12 and I'm really not hearing anybody there, but 17's got some activity on it. And lo and behold, I checked SWR, it, it, it's tuned. It was really under two to one. So tunable, I've got it tuned up now on 17. Let's see if I can make some contacts on the 17 meter band with this antenna. It would be um, still greater than a quarter wavelength. It would actually be, uh, yeah, getting still close to a half wavelength. It's short though for 17 meters, but uh, let's see what happens. QSL, QSL, good to get you there in Texas. You're about a 5.5 five here. Uh, QSB is up and down, but um, a very good, very readable signal here. 5.5, five. I am in the harbor of Norfolk, Virginia. I'm right across the um, harbor in the city of Portsmouth, Virginia, just sitting here on the seawall working a little portable. There you go. That was fun. I worked everybody I heard today. The bands really weren't uh, not that great. They weren't great, but if I heard you, I worked you. I was, I'm proud to say that. It was, uh, you know, I only heard a few people, but uh, pretty cool. It, it was a fun antenna and something I really wanted to play around with. Tuned, uh, I, I guess that's the 64 to one's a pretty good option because um, tuned uh, at tune 10 and tune 12, it obviously was just perfect for 15. Didn't need the ATU, but um, and it tuned 17. I, I looked up around 20. I didn't. I, it's. I didn't even try. It was uh, noisy, and uh, I don't know. I, that's not what I built the antenna for. I kind of. I really wanted it just to play around on 15, and then and naturally I had to see what it would do on the other bands as well. But um, half wavelength of uh, 16 gauge wire on a pole with uh, 64 to one un un, sitting here next to the uh, to the salt water. Hey, it was a fun antenna. I would say if you've got a seven meter uh, pole and you're looking to have a little fun, uh, give it a shot. I would even maybe think about using the 49 to one. You might need a tuner. I don't know how well it would tune with that. Uh, my suspicion is, is a fit somewhere in the middle about a 56 to one might be the perfect uh, uh, feed point impedance uh, transformer for it. But that's like I said, the uh, 64 to one worked. It worked really good. It did. And uh, I had a good time. That was fun. It was short, just uh, out here for a little while and um, tuning around the band. And um, what, like I said, what I heard, I worked. Anyway, guys, hey, thanks for, I get some great comments from you guys, and I really do, uh, I, I greatly appreciate it. It's good to hear from you guys, and uh, I, sometimes it's hard for me to get back to everybody in the comments. I'm kind of uh, working a lot of hours right now, and uh, I get a lot of emails and stuff like that. If you don't hear back from me, man, it's, I'm, not, I'm not ignoring you. I'm just busy, and I apologize. Hey, if you like this kind of thing, if you like operating portable, low power, building antennas, cheap, easy to build antennas, then please like and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Walt K4 OGO 73, my friends.